Hello everyone, welcome back to Revelation with Loma. I'm right over here by the base. It's right over there on this side of the hill. See? I'm just gonna try to get this light well going and stuff like that. Thought you guys might want to watch. See? I don't really remember how to build this. Okay, it should be pretty simple. I've got these here. These here. And one of those there, right? And then, what was it? Uh, these, no, these. Chiseled. Chiseled. Alright, sorry about that. Had a little bit of a phone call issue there. Okay, so, that should be it. Right? No. Need to swap these. There it is. Okay, see it shows it there. This might be where we need to plant this. But anyway, then you smack it with your wand. You hear a noise and see the beam. And there it is. Ooh, a little flare. Those happen now and again. Those they won't hurt you or nothing. So don't mess with them. Uh -huh. Look, there's a a stone right below us. All right, next thing we want to get into. Is I uh, must pull out of our out our book so we can see. Well, actually, first we're going to need this. We're going to put this down and put some of these in it. My right, pig makes a lot of noise. We're going to put this here. I'm going to put one of these on top, and then that'll make. If you look down there, you'll see the starlight juice. And those will just break randomly. You know, they only really work at night. There's a little flare up there. Well, wow, how did that get way over there? Hmm. But next thing we want to make is um, where's it at? This the Fossic Resonator. What that does is when you hold it in your hand, it shows you these dark spots on the ground, and that's where the starlight is focused at. It can be focused at different areas around the world, just like these stones that um, right here, these crystals, you know, make that light. You know, there's spots. But going by how much juice this has, I'm guessing this. Is our is one of those spots I can't tell and won't know until I get that thing made and this isn't ready yet we need one bucket of juice let me get my bucket out bucket bucket there is a bucket we only need one eehaw there's a donkey around here somewhere over there yep yeah, there he is okay let's see if we got a bucket yet no, not yet. A little bit more. Let's get the rest of this ready. Okay, we need... That's the wrong one. This one is the one we want. Alright, it's not going to let us look. We'll have to actually look in the book. There it is. It's just two marble, a gold, and one of those. Okay, we need to go get a gold. I didn't bring gold with me. Whoa, ouch. Ouch. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop hitting me. <laughs> I'm over here. Don't hit me no more. <laughs> Oh no, here comes one of those. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Well, he was close, wasn't he? Caught me on fire. Hurry. Of course, now the fire goes out. I almost get to the water. Okay, we need a gold. 
that's in this one right here just a few pieces of gold see if we can get back up there without getting killed again is this an enderman don't need any of that we've got plenty of pearls okay how did we get up here before oh come on oh really 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 I remember being this difficult the last time. Ooh, there's another skeleton after us. Haha. Uh Haha, -huh. uh -huh, look at him burn. He run back under the tree. I don't know why he's so scared of the fire. Alright, it's daylight now. Okay. We want to do this. Can't look in there. We gotta look in here. A golden on the bottom, bucket in the middle, marble on both sides, and aquamarine on top. Aquamarine on top, marble on both sides, bucket in the middle, and gold on the bottom. We got enough. Looks like that broke for us. Hopefully, there's a bucket in there. Still not a bucket. Okay, well, let's put another one on there. You can actually put the crystal shards on there, too. And they make a lot more. I think we used ours to make... Yeah, we used it to make this. <laughs> so now we're just waiting. I'll come back when it's night time. Okay, it's almost dark here. Let's go ahead and get another crystal on this thing. Last one broke. I had to get it back on there. I didn't want to put it on back on during the day, though. It's like we're getting some stuff. I thought this thing held four buckets. But apparently not. Maybe it only holds one bucket. If that's the case, we're in here for a long stay. But as you see, I cleared the grass off of here. There were a whole bunch of gardens right here on this corner. I got all of those. As you can see, my backpack is full. Okay. There's a bunch of olive trees up here, too. I got rid of those. This We may end up staying here if this ends up being our, our sorcery place, which we'll know shortly. And, you know, this is kind of a nice place. Oh, I've got F4 on. Light levels. But this might actually, I kind of like it up here. My house can be down there, my temple up here, this all works. You know? Just, will this thing hurry up? Okay, it holds two buckets. I didn't even think to push that button. Now you hold down shift with this pack, if you hold down shift, it pops up extra stuff in your Wayla up there. I think they use Wayla. This one may use the one probe. I don't know. I think like the, I've got a one probe hat down there, or something, a one probe head, head bobble or something. So I think, yeah, I think this one uses one probe. Come on, one bucket, almost, almost there. Got a bucket. Now, when we put this in here, see it's almost full up again, and that should make this. Oh, we gotta smack it with our wand. Oh, I forgot. There you go. It's, it's, your wand doesn't have any movement animation in your hand, which is odd. And there it is. See, it just kind of pops out there. Now, if you put this in your hand and look around, this is not a spot. But, if we can find any clothes. I think this is time to put on our slime string and boots 
and go have a trip around as soon as we get rid of this skeleton. Yeah. Die. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Oh, you hear that? That was that crystal breaking. Let's get us another one on there. Okay, our slime string and stuff is in here. Want that, that. Ah. Oh, I threw down my sword. Pick it back up. Oh, this one's armored. Yeah, this is not a safe place to be. Give me that. Can't give me that. My bags are full. I don't know what that is. Bone fragment or something. Okay. Now, I'm going to put my boots on. Not the iron ones. There we go. Those. And now we're going to go look for this thing. Make sure there's not one close. Looks like a big gray cloud on the ground. But let's get my slime string down here and we'll go check it out after we eat. I kind of want it up on these areas. So let's go up there and see what we can find over there. I'm going to look around until I find something. I'll see you guys when I do. Oh, okay, we're back. It's daytime, but I found a neat little button. If you reach up here, you can make it nighttime. So, we're going to make it nighttime. And then we're going to take out our thing and look at that. See that? That is where we want to put our temple. So we're going to come out here, right in the center of it. This looks like pretty close to the center. And we're going to switch to this. We're going to put us a little block right there. That way we know where the center is. But there we go. Now we're going to make it day again because monsters and all. Okay, now if you look at your book, well, let me pull out our book. For this section, we've made that. Okay, and the next one we're going to be looking for is this one here, our next temple. The relays we can make, but we don't need them yet, so we're going to go into this one. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, we want to go with this one. Starlight crafting table. It's like the next level. These, um, like that, um, that other crafting station we made that's over by our base, that's like level one, and this is like level two crafting. And there's several more levels you'll see as we get into this. But um, that's it, you know. This temple, you got to build this structure to go with it. As you can see, you can look around. It tells you how big it is. All that good stuff. You look up here, it'll tell you what exactly it needs to make it. And then you just kind of got to put it around. You, you got to pay attention. You got to notice right here is a sooty marble block right underneath the middle of that. You look in here real close. You know, you, it's kind of hard to tell what these blocks are. But you look right here, that's a chiseled piece. You know, just like the ones on top. 
two pieces of that, you know. And there's there's different size structures that from this point on, every time you up level, I think there's two other levels above this one. And each time you level up, you got to make a whole new shrine for it. So, and you know, you hover there and it tells you what it is. I'm not exactly sure what these numbers are. Because they're definitely... I don't really know what those are. Hmm. But anyway, that's it. You know, I'm going to get this. It's about time to cut this off, I think. I don't really know what, what time we're looking at because I've been interrupted so many times making this video. And we've got so many cuts for me running or here and there. But I'll try to make a decent sized video out of it. Maybe not too long, maybe not too short. I'll do what I can. But um, in the off-camera time, I'm going to get a basic living area set up over here. Probably right over in that little area, that plains area. And I'll get everything ready to set this up. And then we'll see where it goes from there. We're going to get this. I think we'll get this done and we'll kind of hold off on Astral Sorcery. We'll get our base moved over here somewhere close. You know, with the mini map and all. Or the map the way it looks. Where we're at. Why has it got that? Oh, probably because I was bouncing over here. I bounced all the way over here. There's that town over there we've been to already. I think that's the town I saw in the distance. It looks awful far off. There might be another town right here. Could have swore I saw another town. But anyway, I'll look around, see what's around. And try to figure out how we want to do our living arrangements since we're moving to a desert, basically. Because, you know, we're right in the middle of a desert. A red desert. And there's really nothing around. I mean, we could make a house... See, we're right here. We could make a house right over in this area. It looks like a pretty decent area. You know, and then when we need to do astral, we come over here and do our astral, and then, you know, we'll live right in that area there, maybe. See, home's way over here. I just kind of bounced and bouncy, bouncy, and ended up here. Yeah, I almost missed it. I was bouncing on past here, and out of the corner of my eye, I saw what looked like a little gray cloud on the ground. I spun and looked and yep, there it was. But there we are and I guess we'll call it there. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you've had any issues or have anything to say, put it down in that uh, comment section and we'll see what comes of it. So with that, later, later everyone.